Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. 10.0.7 is almost here, and with it comes another selection of dragon glyphs to collect. Only eight this time, so don't worry. So let's get into it. Now, it's unclear currently why, if you have maxed out your dragon riding, why on earth you would want to go and collect these extra points. As currently on the PTR, I have found no reason for these new points, no new perks or anything interesting. Now in 10.1 I believe, we are gaining new dragon riding options in the form of ground skimming to regain vigour. As we are going to be, well, in a large cavern, with little headroom, that kind of makes sense. So for now at least, take the collection of these glyphs as optional, with the big caveat that some features of 10.0.7 have been encrypted, so there's always a chance of a new dragon riding skill being tucked away in there. But enough of me going on, let's get into the Forbidden Reach and these new glyphs. Now the loop you can do to collect these glyphs from our base camp here is pretty straightforward, but there are two outliers. We have one far to the north and the other far to the south. I will be starting my loop from this southerly point purely because when I started to record this I was actually flying down from Veldraken and it makes the most sense to me. You go whichever way suits you best. For me, we will be starting off in Talon's Watch. This is a little bit misleading because as you approach, it looks like it's a big tower and you think it's going to be at the top. In fact, this is at the base of the tower. Once collected, it is off to the Frosted Spine up in the mountains. This one is nicely out in the open, gold beacon glowing in a frosty field. As I say, it does involve a little bit of altitude, but if you've got a couple of points in dragon riding, you will be fine. Side note here, currently on PTR, you are stripped of all of your dragon riding points. So I'm doing this with four vigor, I believe, because I have one point, and nothing else available. Now once the frost glyph has been collected, we're heading to Talon Lord's Perch. This one is a nice, easy one. Simply head over the mountains and glide your way down to the tower below. The glyph is glowing away in this open top tower. The next one on our list is Storms Under Mountain. It took me a little bit of time to find this one. There is a lot going on here. There's various dragons flying around, bone structures and caves and God knows whatever else. But as you are flying towards the mountain, you will see a doorway down to your left constructed into the mountain. The glyph is actually located about halfway up the mountain on the right hand side. You'll see a small flat area of land and then a rock jutting out from it. The glyph is located just behind that rock. Next up, Dragon Skull Island. The name is ominous but this is actually a really easy one to get. Glide off the back of the mountain and continue to bank left and you will see a small island. Head to that island and amongst the trees there is our glyph. We are motoring now onto glyph number six, Froststone Peak. This one will require you being a little bit careful as this glyph is located up, 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 way at the top of a tower. That is home to a number of elite dragons which may not be too pleased to see you. Also, while you're here, you may notice for the first time a dragon scale banner. These are just like the ones that you may or may not have collected, but may have seen around the Dragon Isles themselves. Giving us a lovely 200 bonus reputation to the dragon scale. But they do scale with rep, so this is a great catch up for alts if you happen to have Worthy Ally, for instance. But back to our dragon riding glyphs. We'll do a separate video on banners, don't worry about that. Now, glyph number seven is located in an area called a Caldera of the Menders. It's a nice, easy flight from Froststone Peak. As you reach Menders, you will see a large doorway with a stained glass above it. In front of that is a small tower. The roof of the tower is missing. Get some height, dive bomb into the glyph. When you reach the ground, there's a doorway out of the tower. And now it's time to get our final glyph in Winglord's Perch. This is located on an island way to the northwest and is going to take just a little bit of flying to get there. But upon reaching the island, the glyph is hidden 
within Ruined Tower. Worry not! It is the only Ruined Tower on the island. Once collected, you are done for the glyphs. Congratulations! Which, to be fair, is great news because, well, I'm stuck. Yeah, that that happened. I'm... Oh, fuck. Well, you know what? That's what half stones are for, I guess. So with that embarrassment out of the way and me back in Veldraken and all of our glyphs collected, I will say thank you for watching. All of the waypoints, of course, for these glyphs will be down in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or when 10.07 finally goes live, we know what these extra points are for, please feel free to put it down in the comments below. Until then, stay safe, everyone, and I will catch you in the next video. Ladies, everyone.